Welcome Aries. This is Renee and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at you versus them. Right? So this is your love reading for April. You versus them. We're going to see it about your connection. And we're going to take a look and see what's going on. Now just remember with this connection, I'm going to have you on this side and your connection on this side. But remember that the roles can be flipped. So whichever side that you're resonating with the most is your side, right? So just know that your connection can be flipped, right? So let's take a look at your connection. For them, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation, okay? For them... We have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay. Now let's take a look at the tarot. I'm going to use two different decks. So for you, I'm going to use the uh, Spellcrafter. For you, we're going to use the Spellcraft material. And for them, we're going to use the Witch's Tarot. Okay? Message for Aries. Tell me about Aries' connection to their person. How is Aries feeling about this person? Give me a message. How is Aries feeling about this person? Oh, the devil in reverse. Okay. What is Aries' intentions? The Empress in reverse again. Are all these cards in reverse? No. Okay. And where is this connection going? Ooh, okay, so justice. I feel it. We have the seven of swords on the bottom. Aries, so I feel like... There's a little sneaky intention here, but I feel like someone is catching feelings. Okay? I feel like someone's kind of protecting their energy, but they're catching feelings. They're kind of dipping their toes in the water to see where this goes. You know? So this may be someone that you just met. Someone that you're trying to get to know better. Right? Um, hmm. Now let's see about Aries' person. Let's see about Aries' person. Give me a message for Aries' person. The person on Aries' mind, please. Give me a message. How does this person feel about Aries? Ooh, the Nine of Cups. Wow, they like you, Aries. Okay, tell me what this person's intentions are. Tell me about this person's intentions. For Aries. Tell me about their person's intentions. Ooh, not quite sure. Not quite sure. Okay. And where is this connection going? Where is this connection going for Aries? The world. Wow. Okay. So, Pisces. Excuse me, Aries. <laughs> I don't know why I said Pisces. This could be a Pisces. That you're dealing with Aries. Or they could have Pisces placements. 
Um, definitely. We have... Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. We have... Hmm, Pisces, yeah, definitely Pisces with the Wheel of Fortune. Definitely can have Pisces placements. Okay, as far as this person that you're dealing with, Aries, I feel like this person really sees you as a priority. They really want to get to know you better. Definitely. They see you as the King of Cups, right? They see you as, wow, the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups. Are you serious? This person is head over heels. Head over heels. They're ready to put you first. They're ready to put you above everything else, right? But let me tell you one thing, Pisces. With this free yourself, I feel like this person may not be totally available. Okay, they may be currently separated, they may be currently married, they may be currently attached, but there's something that they need to free themselves from before they can be attached to you. But this person, oh my gosh, they're, they're really smitten, you know? This person has an attraction to you like nothing else. They feel like you're a good person, you're a good, um, <laughs> you could be a good lover, you know, um, I feel like this, this person that's, that you're attracted to or that is attracted to you really thinks the world of you, Aries, but I feel like they're not quite sure where this connection is going. You're kind of keeping them very curious, very out of control in the situation, right? And I feel like this person that you're dealing with really may like to have more control of the situation, right? But I feel like you, on the other hand, Aries, you on the other hand, you feel free when you were with this person, okay? You feel very freed, very, I don't know. And the energy that I'm getting from you with this person is like being unbound, being set free. You know, this, this person may not even be your usual type. They may not be the usual race that you deal with. You know, they're not your usual empress. They're not someone that you may normally be attracted to, but it feels right. There's a connection. There's something, there's something really bringing you together. There's something really kind of magnetic when it comes to you too, right? Um, that's the reason why I feel like you have this open mind. Keep an open mind. Aries, be, simply because I feel like this isn't your normal type. This isn't someone that you would normally be attracted to. Maybe this person is a little thin. Maybe they're a little thick. Maybe they're a different race. Maybe they're, you know, I'm just different qualities. Take your pick, right? But I feel like when you're around this person, this person's magnetism, this person's charisma, is it just feels right. It feels very magnetic. Um, I feel like you're kind of drawn to this person. You feel like, you know, this may be someone that you work with, Aries. It may be someone that you're around a lot because of work, right? So you just have this magnetic pull to see what this person is up to, you know? And I feel like maybe you don't even work in the same department. 
maybe you aren't able to fully keep tabs on each other but I feel like there's there's a drawing together you know and I feel like it just feels very balanced it feels real okay tell me more about this energy for Pisces I want to know who's going to take action first because I feel like no one has taken action yet. No one has made a move. You know, they're just both in this thing, in this thinking phase, just like I'm not ready to make a move yet, but I want to, you know, I feel like I can really go places with this person. I feel like I can really go places with Aries, but I'm not ready to make a move yet. There's something blocking me. There's something holding me back, even though I know Aries is the one, right? So I, I feel like there's something. Tell me more about this message for Aries. T tell me about Aries' feelings for this person. Give me more of a message. Tell me more about Aries' feelings for this person. And then we're going to get into a personal message. Okay. Oh, you could settle down with this person. You could settle down with this person. You find this person very, very attractive. Very, oh my gosh, fiery and passionate. Just, I feel like this person kind of takes you off guard. You know, I feel like you really want to make your moves. But there's, I feel like you want to take it slow. I feel like, you know, anything that can grow into the long term, you're like you're willing to wait, right? Tell me about this person. Tell me more about this person. How does this person really feel about Aries? How does this person that Aries is thinking about feel about Aries? Whoa, okay. Wow. We have the Four of Pentacles. They want to keep you a secret. Oh, they could be going through healing. There's some heartbreak here. There's some heartbreak here. You could have said something to them or kind of left them in doubt. Kind of not knowing where the connection is going is kind of making this person really frustrated because now this is the problem I have, Aries, is this four of pentacles. Because I feel like this person is really protecting this energy. I feel like they're keeping it a secret. They don't want anyone to know. They're like... That's why I feel like this person that you're dealing with may already be connected. Okay? Hmm. They're going to wait until everything calms down. They're going to wait until after this healing to go ahead and move forward. You know, they're waiting on that. They're waiting on that. Let's go ahead and get a message for... I'm going to basically just do your person because I feel like you already know how you feel in the situation. So... Spirit, give me a message for this person, for Aries. What does this person want to say to Aries? What do they need to say? Give me a message, please. What does Pisces need? Excuse me. Pisces. Yeah, this could very well be Pisces. What does Aries need to know that this person needs to communicate but can't? What does Aries need to know, please? So many things remind me of you. Wow. 
Yeah, I, I feel like you could really be working with this person. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Okay. You were the best thing in my life. Wow. For some of you, I feel like this could be someone from the past trying to reemerge. But for some reason, I don't feel like this energy is someone from the past. It may be someone that you already know. Because I feel like it may be someone that you work with. Right? I feel like you work with this person, Aries. Because I feel like you're around this person a lot. And they feel so frustrated that they can't touch you. That they can't feel you closer to them. Okay, that's what I'm getting. But I'm getting that they really want to keep this a secret. So that's really pushing me to really feel like this is something to do with work because they really want to keep this secret. They don't want any, they don't want to cause any gossip, any rumors. Okay? Because I feel like this person isn't totally free. Oh my goodness. I love you. I regret lying to you. Yeah, this person hasn't told you a lot of truths. They haven't, if they haven't lied to you, they may not have lied to you, but I feel like they're not telling you everything. They're not telling you what you need to know, right? They're not giving you that information. And I feel like they're not giving you that information because they feel like it's time for them to heal. They're trying to go through this healing. You're a distraction from the pain that they're feeling right now, right? Yeah, look at this. My life is not as together as it seems, okay? We both know I'm not the one for you. You know, this person isn't totally free to pursue this relationship, okay? So beware, Pisces. Oops. This is a Pisces coming towards you. Definitely. That's like the fourth time I said Pisces in this reading. So this is definitely a Pisces coming forward for you. Or they have Pisces placements. You know, if this is someone that you're close to, take a look and see what their, what their signs are. Because there's Pisces somewhere. Okay, if it's not their sun sign, it may be their moon, their rising, or their Venus. But there's Pisces somewhere in this person's chart. Definitely. Okay, um, let's go ahead and we're going to get one more message. Um, yeah, we'll get one more message. And then we'll... Try to maybe take a look at a timeline. Either this person has a really hard crush on you, Aries, or this person really sees you as someone that they could have a long-term relationship with. I feel like they're just not going by it. The right way right they're not being very forthcoming they're not you know mm, I feel like the information that you know I, to be totally honest with you Aries I feel like you know more about this person than you're really letting on um, and I feel like it really doesn't bother you very much that this person May not be free. Now tell me I'm wrong if you want to. Right? Okay, let's see what we got here. We have time to focus on you and your needs. Look at this. Yeah, you already know the answer, Aries. What did I tell you? You already know the answer. I feel like you know more about this person than you're letting on. 
You just want to hear it from their lips is what I'm getting, right? You want to hear it from their lips that they may be leading you on or they may not be free to start a new relationship, okay? And I feel like that's what you want is a relationship. You know, you don't want this three-party situation, right? Okay, I pushed you away. And we have your prayers are being answered. Okay, so Aries, here's the thing. And we have an acceptance apology. Okay, I feel like this person may be apologizing. This person may be kind of staying out of your distance for a while. Um, they may also try to get you to accept their form of understanding which i'm not sure if you're going to accept their form of understanding because you have your own right okay give me a timeline for aries when and if are uh, this connection is possible okay see we have three that popped out if you've been wondering about this daily, you are in its vibration. The time frame is within a few weeks. Okay. We also have within the next three weeks. And we have time frame is within a few days. Okay. So each one of these are, are going to resonate differently for you. Right. Okay. So let's go ahead and get your angel number because you know I have to end the reading with your angel number. It's just my way of doing things, right? Okay, so for Aries, we have potential. Your chance to reach your highest of potentials is here. Perseverance has gotten you where you are and you have been through so much. And this guidance is here to show you that you are exactly where you need to be. Okay. Uh, your affirmation. My potential is infinite and I use my strength as my ally to pursue my highest good. So maybe this relationship, maybe this connection has some type of potential that maybe you shouldn't give up on. Maybe this person's circumstances are a little bit more complicated than they may be letting on, right? Um, but I feel like there is potential, but you need to decide if it's potential that you want to work on. You know, if it's potential that's worth your perseverance in the situation, and if it's going to reach your highest good. You know, what are this person's real intentions towards your connection? Okay, so that's the message that I have for you, Aries. So if this message resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. You can also take a look at your person's placements. Like I said, your energies can be flipped. So take it how it resonates. And Aries, until your next reading... Many blessings to you, love and perfect light.